one of the key elements that have been referred to here is that we need a capable state. We need a capable state. Now, as South Africans, uh, we, we, we agree that we hold many dialogues, many conferences, and, 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 and we keep on talking. We keep on talking. Now, one intellectual said to us that uh, actually uh, what we do when we are confronted by this uh, convergence of several problems, social inequality, wealth inequality, uh, violence, uh, drug abuse, uh, and, and all of these social problems. He says uh, we, we adopt the strategy of spray and pray. <laughs> spray and pray means that uh, you, you want to solve all the problems all at once because you treat them all as priorities. Uh, what we should do is to identify, identify both problems and opportunities that are catalytic, that are catalytic, the ones that if we do them, it would open up even more possibilities. Uh, if we take the state of our economy today uh, with uh, uh, SG, 18 million people receiving social grants. Yes. Yeah, 18 million South Africans on social grants, depending on social grants. It means reprioritization of the budgets will not pull us out of this morass. It will not do that. What we need is new capital, capable of creating new jobs and boosting manufacturing. And we have methane gas in this country, not offshore, onshore. In Pumalanga, uh, those towns like Standerton, Amersfoort, are all sitting on gas. And this gas is compressed under water, water which is crucially needed for irrigation. If we were to start off by identifying that as a national strategic resource in legislation, lawmakers, we are lawmakers now, we pass a law which says this gas, natural gas, is our national resource, strategic resource. If we were to do that, uh, and, and, and whoever holds the rights, we, we carry them along and say, thank you very much, uh, you will get your benefits, but this is a national resource. We are going to run it and manage it as a national resource. The first thing that would happen is we would create concrete jobs. Just the piping and reticulation, uh, you know, connections create concrete jobs. We would also, if by regulation we stipulate that all buildings shall henceforth be lit, heated, and the cooking, if there is cooking taking place, should be by gas. And then, of course, you've got to manufacture new gas appliances. That's concrete jobs. If, if, and, and we don't have to uh, do it all at once. We can start uh, in, in the area of waterbed where there's lots of methane, methane gas, or in Pumalang, and then expand from there. That in itself would alter the structure of the South African economy fundamentally. 